In this video, I'm answering the question, how many switches can you daisy chain together before it stops working? Now, early on in most people's IT career, they realized that yes, you can daisy chain switches together and it just works without too much trouble. But uh, often an older, wiser IT person will tell you, no, that's not a good idea. And it's probably not a good idea simply because for a long chain, a failure in any switch will break the network in half. Unlike, say, a hub and spoke arrangement where a single switch failure on a spoke will only impact the users plugged into the spoke. Now, a bit over 20 years ago, when I was studying my networking career and I was studying the CCNA, I learned from Cisco that they recommended no more than five switch hops from any one point in your LAN to any other point. And that seemed like a sensible recommendation. And I assumed that was based on years of experience and knowledge and testing. But older, wiser me has decided to find out myself what the limit actually is. My initial plan was to buy a bunch of really cheap five port switches like this TP-Link TL-SG105 that's available on Amazon for about 14 US dollars and then chain them together and work out how many it took for performance to break down. Then I did some Googling and found a Reddit comment by a guy that said he successfully daisy chained 12 switches in a stadium to service Wi-Fi and that they did this mostly to save money on running thousands of meters of fiber back to a central hub and instead they just ran 100 meter links between each switch spread around the stadium uh, and saved a lot of money doing it that way. And apparently that worked just fine. This made me realize that I might need more than 20 switches and apart from the fact that it would start to get expensive, I also don't have 20 spare power points in my house. So while power strips are a thing and you can daisy chain power strips together, I'm not about to make a video to answer the question, how many power strips can you daisy chain together before they catch fire? This video is about switches. So to try and get an answer to my question, I realized what I could do is use the power of VLANs to create virtual switches inside a real switch. So on a 48 port switch, I could create 24 VLANs and that would be the equivalent of 24 switches. So I went out and bought two used 48 port Cisco 2960 switches and then configured each one with 24 VLANs, two ports in each VLAN. And then I also bought 48 25 centimeter patch leads so that I could join the two switches together with each VLAN. Uh, and that would give me a total of 48 switch hops, the equivalent of 40, daisy chaining 48 switches. So for performance testing and to give me a frame of reference, I did a ping test from a computer to a NAS connected through a single switch hop. And the average result was a ping time of 0.7 milliseconds. Then I connected each VLAN on a switch to the switch below it and so on until I created a very long chain. And then I plugged in my NAS at one end and my laptop at the other and did the ping test again. And to my amazement, ping times had only increased by 1.5 milliseconds from 0.7 up to 2.2. That's 31 microseconds per switch hop. Ping testing showed zero packet loss, and I also did a copy test through the 48 switch hops, and I got the maximum speed of the link. Doing simple extrapolation of, say, 10 times that number of switches, or 480 switch hops, uh, which I think is basically a fantasy scenario, then latency would only add up to about 15 milliseconds, which is still completely manageable, and the kind of latency I get in my real world network between capital cities in my country. So to sum up, uh, how many switches can you daisy chain together and still have it work? The answer is theoretically in the many thousands. And in practice, it's at least 48. And realistically, uh, it's unlimited for any practical real world scenario. All right, I hope you got the answer you were looking for. And if you did, then please give me a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.